What's up everybody? It's your boy AB from AB underscore XY. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another Combat Master video. Combat Master has absolutely blown up. It's literally gone viral. It's all over social media, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, uh, your mom's Facebook, tons and tons of videos. I think Face Jeb has a video with, with over like half a million views. So yeah, FaZe Jeff played it. He It looked like he had a good time. It, he also kind of made fun of the game a little bit. I mean, I'm not mad at that. Why am I not picking things up? Pick that up. There's literally an armor plate right there. Why aren't you picking it up? Pick up the armor plate. I, have I mentioned that this game is not perfect? It's not perfect. Why am I not picking anything up? Jesus! Whew! No scope that boy. A lot of the big content creators that have played this game, let's say Prestigious Key, Dismo, and even Face Jeff, um, they all pretty much had a positive experience playing this game. They did kind of laugh at its ludicrousy. Lud they all laughed at how crazy this game was. The movement, obviously, right? Like it's it's a little wacky to backy. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people are happy to play it. Some people are happy to have this kind of movement freedom. Especially people that are, you know, big Call of Duty players. So let's talk about why did Combat Master go viral. And I think it's pretty simple. The whole reason why this game's gone viral, clearly because of its movement. But why is the movement such a big deal? Why is movement freedom such a big deal? Oh my god, that was a nice shot, AB. Jesus. Well, because movement allows you to do things like that. It allows you to do what you want to do and not feel like the game is holding you back. Imagine playing a game where you feel like the developers hate you. You ask for things to be fixed, you ask for things to be included, and nobody cares. Instead, they just go, hey, spend more money. How about that? Shut your mouth and spend money. Buy some skins, damn it. Shut up and take my money. Uh, by the way, special shout out to Sprite Up and the man himself, Apple Bravo Inc. I've actually communicated with them quite a bit and they've always been like super nice and, and kind and supportive of what we're doing here in the channel. So big shout out to the entire Alpha Bravo team. People telling me that the devs need to be careful because this game could potentially get in trouble. Well, guess what? It's already gotten in trouble before and it's still here. So the game was taken down. It was gone for a few months, but the devs promised to come back. They made a few UI changes, a few, um, I don't exactly know what they changed because it kind of looks identical. If the team is reassuring us that there's nothing to worry about, I guess there's nothing to worry about. I really don't know where this last guy's at, bro. <laughs> I've been talking for like 10 minutes and I haven't seen this guy. It's me and one other dude, someone named Stro. This guy's hiding. He has zero kills, two deaths. He's on his last life and my man is camping. He is somewhere out here. By the way, if you guys didn't know, we're currently playing the mode Combat Master. Yes, it's a mode named after the game. There is supposed to be a gas zone that closes in around the map, like, you know, like war zone. But I haven't seen it yet. I swear, I've had like 10 minute matches and I've never seen the gas zone. And it's a pretty cool feature because I wish more people could see it. There's a lot of new players that have found Combat Master. And I don't know for how much longer those players are going to be playing this game. But for anybody out there that's new and you don't know a whole lot about this game and you're wondering, well, what's next with the game? Season 2 is supposed to be bringing a lot of changes, a lot of updates. Things like voice chat, things like a party system, ranked leaderboards. All that's already been promised, optimization, more bug fixes, a lot of that stuff is supposed to be coming, even maybe more maps. But the biggest thing that is expected to come to the game is Battle Royale, like a full blown Battle Royale. Not this, not this, this is a mini Royale. This is just a fraction, a portion of what is possible. The team is planning a like full sized, full blown Warzone Verdance style of Battle Royale. The team has been working on it for about a year. At least that's how long they've, you know, it's been since they announced it. The buildings and stuff that we've seen in the leaks, the buildings look something like this. But imagine a full blown map the size of Verdansk. But for this game, for Combat Master, will they nerf movement by then? I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe they shouldn't. <laughs> I've been one of the game's biggest petitioners to nerf the movement, but now I'm starting to feel that maybe they shouldn't. Oh, there's a the gas. The gas is here. Wait, we're just dying. Bro, we're just getting poisoned. Where's this guy at? Wait, this, the gas is here, but it didn't even move in. Bro, we're just dying. The gas didn't even like slowly creep in. The gas just popped up. Okay, I won somehow. What the hell? 
<laughs> okay, that was hella random. We literally just died and I got first place somehow. I was waiting for the gas to kind of become visible, you know, like Warzone does. You see the zone closing in on you. Alpha Bravo team, I don't know if that's exactly how you guys intended the gas zone to be, but if we could see it at all times, let's say we can see it are on the edges of the map. And as the match progresses, it starts creeping in a little bit. I think that would be great. Also, you guys can probably make these matches like maybe five minutes to 10 minutes. Cause I mean, honestly, that match right there, it lasted way too long. I think if everybody saw the gas from the get go and knew that this was a mini battle royale mode everybody's brains would click so to recap one combat master went absolutely viral but why because of its crazy movement but also because of its aesthetic it looks a lot like modern warfare 2019 people are getting kind of tired of modern warfare 2 they kind of want to play games like the old school cods where there was more movement freedom and this game kind of offers all that it looks like a cod game kinda and it plays like a cod game kinda at least the og ones Kinda, but not really. It kinda is its own thing. The other big thing that came up recently was all the people playing this game. Huge YouTubers like Faze Jev, 5 million subscriber channel. Huge YouTubers like Dismo, who has like over 2 million. All the way to the huge mobile YouTubers that have been following this game forever. From the beginning, everybody is playing this game. Right now, it is inescapable. Some people love it, some people hate it. The crazy thing that I'm seeing right now is that there may even be some kind of divide within the community. Believe it or not, there are people out there right now on mobile saying that they don't want these two worlds to collide. They don't want a game that is now for both communities. Combat Master was originally a mobile game. Everybody assumed it would stay on mobile, but they made an unexpected decision to also bring it to PC. So now we have the PC community and the mobile gaming community kind of meeting to play Combat Master. For the most part, everybody's having a good time, but it seems like the mobile gaming community is giving a little bit of pushback. I haven't seen a lot of comments, but I've seen a few. Some of the mobile gamers are saying, you know what, by adding the PC gamers, they're probably gonna get priority over us. They're probably going to get a gameplay advantage over us, but you guys got to remember that you can always turn crossplay off. I want to see everybody enjoy this game, and I think this game is doing a good job as a crossover. This is a true one to one crossplay game. Everything that you do on PC carries over to mobile, and whatever you do on mobile carries over to PC. You do got to do some weird workaround stuff with your saving to the cloud and downloading from the cloud. And I think the admins in Discord mentioned something about there being a more permanent fix incoming. So, yeah, I mean, will there be a combat master community divide? I think everybody should just be happy that this game even exists because, I mean, look at us now. Look at us. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. All right, boys, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, then make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Combat Master. If you're new to the game, are you going to continue playing this game? And if you've been playing this game, if you're a mobile gamer, are you happy that we now have this PC and mobile community combining? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for the future of Combat Master? I want to know what you guys think. Huge shout out to the channel members and everybody else who's been supporting the channel all this time. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. It's an amazing feeling. Honestly, super dope, super amazing feeling. I can't thank everybody enough. I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, my goal for the year is to hit 10,000 subscribers. Is that possible? I don't know, but you got to dream big. You know, this whole thing started out as a dream and now I have achieved one of my milestones in my dream. So uh, let's keep it going. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It, it does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay healthy. Peace.